Welcome to Ecoholics. We will discuss in these uh, series of videos about econometrics. There's a lot of demand of econometrics on my channel, so I'm making a series of these videos about econometrics. I'll cover the full syllabus of econometrics that will be helpful in Indian Economic Services, UGC NET examination, and other entrance examinations of JNU, DU, and DSC. You can also refer for a semester examination because I'm, I'll be starting this subject or these videos from the basic. So apart from econometrics, first of all, we need to understand about statistics. So first we will learn statistics, few basic concept of statistics, which is the need to or which must be known to you in order to know the subject called econometrics. So first of all, we'll discuss statistics, then we'll incorporate some economic concept to that. And finally, we arrived at econometrics. So there are around 40 lectures, maybe 40 plus lectures of this series. So you just follow the playlist section uh, for the new videos. Now, apart from this, we will first understand this is a basic video of econometrics. So before understanding the subject, we need to understand what is statistics. So here, first of all, I'm writing statistics. Now, what's the meaning of this word statistics, the nature of statistics? So here we can say it is a process of it is a process of collection presentation analysis and utilization of numerical data to make inferences about uncertainty in the futures related to the subject economics, business, other social and physical sciences. So first of all, the basic concept we need to understand, this is the process. It means first you collect the body of data, then you make some presentable. Finally, you will analyze and at last you will utilize that data in order to make certain kind of inferences. Because there is uncertainty in the future, that is why this subject is very, very important in our subject discipline economics and many other uh, subjects like uh, business, uh, commerce, and some other uh, like social sciences. So we can easily use this, these concepts. This is a process. If you are doing any research, this is the basic process of collecting data. Now, to collect this data for what? It means for a numerical data or what we call a body of data. So from now onwards, I'll refer numerical data as a body of data. So we have collected or we have followed these four steps in order to follow this numerical data. Apart from these things, like for example, if I'll give you how economists predict or how economists predict the future uncertainty. Like for example, if we are doing some uh, production, if an economist want to change that method of production, it needs to be first analyze the process of new production methodology. So first of all, in order to adopt the new production methodology, we need to change certain kind of things. So for to test, we can use this process. We can use statistics as a subject. Apart from this, like a business person, entrepreneur, if they are need to analyze their sales, whatever the sales will be in the market. So first of all, they need to analyze the particular demand of a market. It means again, they have to make some study by collecting data or the, of, of the, from the people of about the demand of a particular product in the particular region. Another than like uh, some physician can also uh, test the efficacy of the drug, like political scientists can also uh, study the voting behavior pattern of a society of a particular region of a particular country. Uh, apart from this, weather forecasting will also use the body of data. So this is the basic concept of a statistics, why we use statistics and why statistics is very, very important. Because most of my students quite frequently ask why we need to study the statistics. What's the importance? What is the use? So this is the use in order to predict the future or uncertainty in the future. Now, apart from these basic concepts, statistics is a subdivided into two parts. Statistics is subdivided into two parts. First one, descriptive statistics. Second one, 
second one is inferential statistics this descriptive statistics developed way before this inferential statistics inferential statistics is somewhat we can say a new branch of subject statistics descriptive statistics simple summarizing and describing summarizing and describing of body of data is what we call descriptive statistics here inferential statistics will discuss after few minutes first of all what's the meaning of summarizing and describing suppose for example we can say that descriptive statistics is simple collection of body of data analyze that particular data is what we call this descriptive statistics now i'll give you uh, uh, one one example of both these first we need to understand what is inferential statistics so inferential statistics is deriving from two terms like for example it refers to the drawn or generalization about some whole data from a portion of the data it means drawing generalization from whole from a portion of that data here whole means population of data and portion means sample from that population so in order to make that correct the samples should be representative of population and the probability of error also must be well defined this is what we call inferential statistics it means drawing sample from the whole lot of population and drawing generalization from that sample to the total population is what we call inferential statistics now i'll give you one example and make it that same as we we call descriptive again inferential statistics suppose we are taking 1000 households for a survey 1000 households i've taken some survey this is an example so i've taken some survey of 1000 households first we'll understand descriptive then we'll move on to inferential statistics in descriptive suppose i'm analyzing per capita income of these 1000 households i will get some average per capita income suppose for example i'm getting rupees 5000 as a per capita income of these 1000 households i will get some for example i will get some average income it means some band so maximum 7000 minimum 3000 so this is the range i got when i was doing the survey so here from 3000 to 7000 i'm getting this as a range and the per capita income is 5000 it means analyzing the whole per capita income of these 1000 household is what we call descriptive statistics because i'm not going beyond this 1000 households and i'm analyzing the extremes of these 1000 households and driving that per capita income or what we call average income of these 1000 households talking about inferential statistics here in inferential statistics suppose these 1000 households have taken from the country india india is a country of about 1.25 uh, billion people So if I am taking these thousand households as my sample, so here we can say this is your population, or in definition what we have referred as whole. I have taken these thousand households as my portion, what we call sample. A sample. If I am deriving some generalization. from these 1000 households from about 1.25 billion people if suppose i am getting the average per capita income here is 5000 which we have got from this 1000 household it means these 5000 rupees per capita income is the representative of india's per capita income 
That is what we call inferential statistics. Nowadays, inferential statistics is more popular because it shows about the future aspects, future prediction. It means from given these thousand households, because it is very difficult to take a survey of 1.25 billion people. So I've taken some thousand representative households from that population and I've conducted one survey and drawing generalization about the population. I think this uh, concept makes it clear. If you have any doubt, you can mention in the comment box. Apart from this, please like, share and subscribe uh, my video. You can also follow Ecoholics on Facebook and Instagram. If you need any help, you can also email us at our email ID given in the description of this video. Please do comment or uh, give your valuable feedback. It keeps me motivated. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.